guys, today is Sunday. We were just out of the lot yesterday and we weren't feeling super great about the kitchen design. So we went home and we pulled up our plans and we were looking at it last night and we were cutting little pieces out and trying to figure out how we could arrange things and have them feel better in the kitchen. Um, however, we realized also that they're going to probably be putting up the floor to the second story tomorrow. So this is something we need to figure out like today. So we are driving out to the lot right now. We brought some big butcher paper and a tape measure and we're gonna cut out the pieces that we know are going to be in the kitchen, like the stove and countertops and things like that. And then we're going to set them actually in the space on the floor so we can get an idea and if we need to play with or move things around or adjust the sizes of things a little bit, we can, but we can firm up exactly where we're wanting the fridge and the range and all of the other things in the kitchen and get the layout feeling really good actually in the space. So hopefully we can make short work of it because we gotta get this figured out. So guys, we are out here and we're cutting butcher paper to scale to fit the island sizes and as sad as it makes me because I really, 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 really want this dual island set up, it is squeezy. Every, everywhere you walk, it would just be very, very squeezy. I think especially coming from the door, kind of going through this pathway and you know right along here are going to be cabinets so feels like you got a little extra space but really there's going to be cabinets right here and with cabinets there it's you know it's three foot six inches and that's just probably not being in that space it's just probably not big enough gap she's running with the ipad on a construction site ah! You don't think it's tight over there, too? I mean, if we needed to, we can slide this this way a little bit, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's that tight. It's probably going to be about long. Yeah, it's okay. So let's move our island. Are we trying by one yeah, or two? Yeah, let's try Well, I didn't make anything wider. Hold on. I just pivoted it and inverted it. Some space. So the front of the fridge is probably somewhere sitting here. And 
then I just took out the space, whatever depth they need. But I added more over here where you want to go off. Otherwise, you can even see good space over here where people are maybe dining. I don't know, I just thought it's kind of cool. This guy could be a little shorter, you know, like. This is about the, the depth of a couch about the depth of a couch right here. Right. Dad, can we get down and do the basement? No. Not right now, bud. Hold on for a second. Why? And maybe I'll add one more of these to say, hey, here's a couch over here. At, at most, maybe. Let's call that a couch. Come on down. I got rope. Show me how you do it. After much debate and playing around and repositioning things, I think we're going to the single island. Mandy's off camera over here with all the stuff packed up. She's freezing. I think we're going single island. We're gonna go back tonight to the drawing board and see what we can make work. We're gonna switch up the kitchen uh, just because we want to have a little bit better flow. 